Hi guys, so this is my luggage system as you've seen in the previous video. So I've got a 10, a 10 and a 30. So I'm going to take everything out of it and show you what is in my bags. Guys, why wouldn't you want to come to Thailand? Huh? Look at this. Awesome. Come visit. Okay, guys, so as I said, we've got 30, 10, and 10. So let's push this one away and we'll start with this 10. Boom. So, what we have here is I have my first aid kit and I'm going to go through that and my toiletries. Toiletry bag, it's so toiletry bag is just a personal thing. I've got a microfiber towel, I've got my uh, some Nurofen and some paracetamol and just some regular normal stuff to have a shave and to, be, and to keep nice and squeaky clean. So that's quite individually uh, down to your own personal preferences of what you want to take. This is a carry more one, I've had it for years. First aid kit, okay guys. I always carry this, we've got some uh, barriers, some gloves, I have some uh, saline, some um, cleaning swabs and also for that, a couple of bandages, I've got a Sam Spin, I've got some Trauma Fix, Trauma Fix, uh, say bandages, a tourniquet and just a small bit of like Savlon, microfiber tape. Um, better tone and stuff like that so it's not a lot in there but there's a few bits you can do and also all I'm going to add to that will be a few plasters you know just normal stuff for nicks and bots like that but I always carry that with me <coughs> on there now this is my little bit of happiness I suppose you could call it now I, I do my road trips in Thailand and there's no need to go camping, a lot of people do go camping but there's a lot of people that don't, but all I have is a small electric kettle, uh, silicon foldable cup and then I just have a few bits, bottle opener, spoon, I've got some um, instant coffee, some free and ones, some chump on, cheers tea and then I've got in here some um, whiteners, some sugar, I don't take sugar but if you know, make someone a brew sugar, some tea what, uh, some coffee whiteners and some Yorkshire tea tea bags alright, so that's what's in there and one little Milo so normally wherever you go away in Thailand you can there is tea and coffee but there's never enough is there never enough so what I do is as I've said um, I take my own so I've never short of a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and I can have as many as I want so that just goes in there and inside there I've got another cup and the adapter in there um, I'm going to most probably uh, upgrade to a small little burner but so really in that bag there's not much in there so number two bag what do we have in here this is my garage yeah believe it or not tea towel air pump there we go that's everything so what I have in here is that's a disc lock I can use a knife a bit of PVC tape a screwdriver with all the bits and then in there I've got a set of front brake pads I've just changed the back ones a little bag of nuts washers blah 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 um, I've got this is all a little bit of electrical gear you know wires and bits and fuses and then in the bottom there I've got some rock straps 
let's get them all out. An old bag. See, like, I've got some fuses, relay, some odds and sods, some wires, some connectors, just some odd bits of wire that if I need any, I can use. In there, let's push all that to the side. And obviously the famous rock straps. These are the best. If you're thinking of buying some um, tie downs, go rock strap. You'll never, you'll never ever regret it. So, on the knife, right. Let's put all that to the side. And here is, I did have the big cycle pump and it went under my seat, but I've got my tool, tool bag kit under my seat now. But I've got this, got it off Lazada, about a thousand baht. It is brilliant. And you charge it up and it's got a little torch on it as well. I believe. There we go. And you just, there we go, you just adjust your pressure to what you want and then plug it in. How good is that? It is pretty good. There's the torch. There we go. But I know don't see much nice little LED. Two point five, see it does it all. Great little bit of kit, turns it on and off there. And obviously you've got the charging cables in there, USB. That get you out of trouble. And then in this one, I have chain loop. WD-40 for cleaning my chain. And I've got a plastic bag and that's got uh, an old rag in it and a uh, chain cleaning brush in there. So that all fits in there. And of course, the last big one. Let's start it off with the waterproof. Inside this waterproof, I have this. And what this is, it gives me two zippers. This is all my camera equipment, chargers, tripod extension, I've got I've just a bits in here, USB and some GoPro mounts, a small little multi-tool. These are for the for the Mac. I've got a one terabyte. I've got SD cards and holder for my uh, DJI and just some straps. So that's what's in there. In the back here, I've got my waterproof and a pair of flip-flops. So one laptop now I use these people use packing bags I use these because I had them and all I've got these are drawstring bags all I've got is this is a pair of swimming trunks some underwear and a pair of socks and in there I have got my t-shirts my riding stuff and that and I use the microfiber type stuff not microfiber they're like a cool max and so you can wear it for riding and then you rinse them out wherever you're staying lay them on the floor if you've got air conditioning lay them on the floor and it'd be dry in the morning but they dry pretty quickly that's my packing light guys and then what i'll do i'll show you here's the baby so let's have a look what's under the seat okay what i've got in here is tire repair some worms the reamer tool and the insertion tool and i've got a little bit of jb weld and some high uh, high heat intensity silicone and all the worms and a pair of pliers for pulling them out. Which goes in there and here they are the straps which my luggage ties down. I've got a couple of tow ropes or some very very strong um, rope there. I've got some uh, spare bulbs and I've got some uh, duct tape. I've got a little pair of gloves there and this is what I've got in my toolkit. Right, I've got a selection of sockets, a selection of screwdriver bits and some Allen keys and a lighter. 
pretty basic really these are Honda OEM uh, they're for adjusting the chain and these are obviously for the wheel taking the wheel in and out and I've got a little pair of mole grips another big um, Allen key I've got a 30 uh, and a ring spanner there a pair of pliers and a bottle opener and uh, wine, wine opener and I've got a little electrical tester I've got a small screwdriver I've got a um, craft knife and tire pressure gauge this is you put your metal bits on there and it's metallic and it's uh, magnetic sorry so that's pretty simple and the thing is with people is normally where I go in Thailand is uh, there's always a motorcycle shop around and your toolkits basically to get you out of trouble and to get you home or to a shop so if that all sits nicely under there he said oh and some cable ties there we go look and that just fits perfect under my seat just put them in all good huh Jobs are good. So she's all ready to rock and roll. Got a cable lock there for my crash helmet for Nubu. This is my extending selfie stick that I take the shots on from there. Hello guys, I hope you enjoyed the little video there and that's just what I carry in my luggage. Travel light, I used to, here's a picture of how I used to set my bike up right here and as you can see it was too heavy, a 242 litre Hepco Becker panniers and I had a big 90 litre Ottolieb waterproof bag and the more bags you got and the more panniers you got you'll think you've got to fill them with a load of stuff and obviously two up it was very heavy on the back and um, even when I was on my own it's still heavy on the back with all that equipment and the problem with that is it affects the handling of the bike so I've gone light as you can see, the bike is so much more fun to ride, really, without all the heavy weight on it, and you don't have to think too much. You let the bike do its normal thing. So all the weight should be pretty much central. Um, further forward, the better. <clears throat> but um, for me, it works great. So think about traveling light, you know? Where I live in Thailand, there's always a place for a coffee. There's always loads of places to stay, and you can spend from, like, 350 baht up to 3,500, and, and, you know, it goes on and on, whatever you want to stay at. But that's why I don't have to carry camping gear and stuff like that. But, again, you never know in the future, I might decide to go down the camping route, because a lot of people are doing it here in Thailand now, and it's um, really, really growing fast. So, lots of places to stay in Thailand and free, on the beach and all, all that, so... Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If it's not your cup of tea, give it a thumbs down. If you've got any comments on what I've said, put them in the comments below and let me know how you set yours up. But most importantly, guys, as always, stay safe. And most importantly, again, is ride safe. Bad Badger, out.